if let and let else are control flow syntaxes that you can use when the pattern to match is simple. For example, let's start with a match statement. Here we have an option of u32, and then we'll match this. Match x. If x is sum with a value, then we'll print ln. Otherwise, this value x will have a none. For this example, in the case of none, we're not going to do anything. So instead of writing your code like this, we can use the if let statement. Let's say if let, and then here we do the pattern match. Say sum v is equal to x. Inside here, let's print something. Print ln. If let, let's print the inner value v. These two code almost do the same thing. In the match case, if x is sum with a value, then we print ln. In this syntax, if x is a sum with value, then we also print something. And notice we don't have an else condition, since if the value is none, then here we don't do anything. And likewise, if the value is none for the case of x, then we don't do anything. Let's execute this code. Cargo run dash dash bin if let sum 1 to 3 and if let 1 to 3. A similar control flow syntax to the if let is the let else. The way it works is you assign a value by saying let something. In the case that the pattern does not match, the code inside else will be executed. So let's say that sum b is equal to x else. Inside this else statement, we will write a code if x does not match this pattern of sum b. And the other condition is that inside here, the code that we execute inside here must diverge. And what diverge basically means that either the code will panic over here or it will return. The code execution ends here. That's what it means. If x is not equal to sum v, then let's panic. Say panic. x is none. At the end, don't forget to put a semicolon. And then if x is sum with a value, let's print this value. Let's say print ln. b is equal to b. Then execute the code. And we get b is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay, how about the case when x is equal to none? In this case, we expect this part of the code to panic and then return with an error. Let's change this to a none. And then execute the code again. And we get an error saying thread main panicked. Why did it panic? It panicked with the message x is none. Okay, so these are some examples of if let and let else syntax. They allow you to pattern match, but in a more concise way than a match statement. It's a useful syntax to use when the pattern to match is short and simple.